and something about a headline blasted across my weekly reader. We live in the information age. Well, we live in the misinformation age. Here, people always have to find their lines. All right. Misinformation. That handy loose leaf binder on the press room podium should tell you a lot. It should. And it does. It's a meatless patty sans bulk, sans protein, placed on a bun smeared with special sauce, compliments of an uncanny presence in command. There are no details here, just canned responses by the numbers bites that fill the room with perpetual mendacity. <laughs> Foreign nation, insert name, pause, flip finger, cover, taxes, flip, next tab over, immigrants, flip to the one marked wall. Alt right, left right, women's rights, the gall, right, wrong. Grip and flip, glip and frip. It's chicken shit. <laughs> <laughs> Misinformation's binder has stuff so lacking in sources cited that her high school English teacher might flunk her faster than you can say Alice through the looking glass. Even Cliff and his famous notes would denounce this study guide. Misinformation, like the good Christian soldier marching on to war, sets her cheat sheets for enfilade and defilade on poor, unsaved scribes of domestic stats and global facts. Her pages stand ready or a volley of probes. No complicated thinking, no bulk, no fiber, just ripping and flipping through bites with fewer answers than my magic eight ball. <laughs> Misinformation opens the briefing grim as a school alarm from a cheesy 50s sitcom, then morphs to an 80s replicant tasked by its master to spread an apocalyptic vision. If pressed for details, you might catch a flash of pearlies, followed by abrupt ennui and dismissive pivot to the next upraised hand. But wait, did he say? Do you think? Can you tell? Should we? Esteemed members of the Facts and Stats Club were soundly chastised for their overstayed welcome. With an internal flip of a middle finger, misinformation tucks her cheat sheet invokes the imperial we, and marches as to war. Yeah.